Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well, the future is here. If you are on the insider rings, uh, now there is a separation of the dev and beta channel. So, uh, well, we are at uh, technically what we'll call it 23H2, even though it's not, as Microsoft wants to say all the time, uh, tied to any um, you know version number. So um, dev channel is now much further in its build number. 25,115 is the new build. We're back with a evaluation copy watermark. So if you had not changed from dev to beta, well, you're stuck for quite a while in the uh, dev channel. So this doesn't have really any new features except one little thing that is there. Uh, which is a little assistant that will try to help you. So if you copy and paste a phone number, for example, the assistant might pop up and say, uh, do you want to call that number? Um, emails, oh, do you want to email that person? Stuff like that. Um, how useful it's going to be. I hope it's done right. Kind of reminds me of Clippy, which was very annoying. But for the rest, now we're moving ahead to what will be the uh, Windows 11 for next year. So we are now testing features. In the coming weeks and months, we'll have new features, new things to test out that will be available to all of the insiders on the dev channel. And that should be part of Windows 11, possibly next year. Although uh, it's not necessarily next year that it can uh, actually happen. Uh, it can happen also sooner. We've seen some features on the dev channel actually move to the beta channel and then move to the regular or version of Windows 11 for everyone before it's time. So, you know, it's going to be a mixed bag of all of that, testing something new that can arrive to Windows 11 standard, you know, version or stable version for everyone and so on. And things that we're going to test that might make it next year or not. But this is the leap ahead for 23H2, which shows us that now we're going to start playing around with features that will appear more than a year from now, as uh, 23H2 will be the next version of Windows 11 after we get the one that we have this year. Remember that the cycle for Windows 11 is one update a year. So this is uh, what's happening here. So 25115, we're moving ahead and uh, we're going to be checking that out. As time goes by, we'll be posting videos and we'll be posting anything interesting as to the future of Windows. But now we are actually at a crossroad where we're still in the beta testing 22H2 coming out later this year. And uh, we're now testing 23H2 for next year. Uh, so kind of in interesting moments and we'll see how well and how Windows 11 evolves over time, but uh, definitely an interesting time now as we move ahead to the future of Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.